Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your uh, week ahead reading today, uh, 28th of October. So Monday 28th of October through to the 3rd of November 2019. I want to show you the cards that are being used for this week's readings. For your weekly check-in we use the... Um, we used, uh, there's a new deck here, the uh, Legrand Circus and Sideshow Tarot. Okay, um, Jolie is the author, the person that's on the deck. We use that for um, the second level of the reading. We use the Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the third level and the, uh, the Next World Tarot for the first level. And your advice comes from the Art of Life Tarot deck by Charles uh, Livingston, or Charlene Livingston, sorry. For your uh, 10 card career and 10 card love reading for the week, we use my good old trusty Dark Mansion Tarot. I love these cards, I always use them. Uh, and uh, also we use the uh, Tea Leaf Fortune cards for advice. Uh, well, we use cards, uh, the career cards and the love cards and the wealth cards from here. And then we use to fill in the gaps on those cards, the answer deck as well, okay? If you guys would like your year ahead reading, I've, you know, I'm, I'm booking up quite steadily with those, but if you'd like to order a year ahead 2020 reading, go ahead, it's on the website now. All right then, enjoy your reading, guys. Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead reading. Just to let you know how the reading's gonna go, we, uh, we do your weekly check-in first. Then we have a look at uh, more specifically your work, stroke finance, and we also have a look at your love life during the week. Um, if you'd like to see a particular reading, so if you'd like to only look at your work reading or only your love reading or maybe just the general reading, timestamps are below. So you just click on the time and it will take you straight through to the reading that you want to view. I'd like to say, guys, thanks ever so much for joining me this week for your reading. And, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, Pisces, so the cards are down. Let's have a look at who you guys are showing as being this week. You're showing as being the, oh, the Eight of Swords. All right. Um, Eight of Swords can uh, at times be a little bit of a tricky, pre, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a tricky card. Sometimes it can show somebody who's isolating themselves. Um, especially if you get the Three of Cups, maybe somebody is isolating themselves from a group of people. But the Eight of Swords, Swords are about the mind. It's about the way that we think. And usually when you get the Eight of Swords, sometimes this can be the card that indicates somebody's going through a time of anxiety or somebody's going through a time of fear with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords often means that we feel stuck or perhaps we feel very powerless to do something with the Ace of Swords energy. Um, this lady is on a wheel um, on this particular uh, deck, which is the, if I remember, the Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot, beautiful deck this is. But this lady is on some sort of a wheel here going round and round and round and round. And what comes to my mind when I think about it is that kind of your mind is going round in circles. It's almost like a thought is going round in circles. It's almost like you're consistently thinking. And that's what the Eight of Swords can be as well. It's consistently thinking. It's the overthinking card as well. Cards like the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords can all indicate somebody who is overthinking a situation. So much so that it can turn you, you know, a little bit mad, a little bit balmy if you like with this card energy. But... Let's just say that at the moment, some of you guys might be doing a bit of too much overthinking this week. Some of you guys might be feeling a little bit trapped with that Eight of Swords energy. Some of you guys might be giving in to these limiting thoughts because the Eight of Swords is also a card that talks about kind of these self-limiting thoughts that one has, that one is powerless to make change, one is powerless to uh, break away from a situation. Let's have a look at what the, the reason is for you guys being the Eight of Swords. Uh, it's because of a judgment Okay, so there's a judgment for some of you guys that's been levied against you. And I feel that some of you guys might be feeling powerless. It almost like feels powerless to, to, um, it's not that you feel, I mean, you're facing the judgment. And when you get judgment, it could be a legal situation for some of you guys, Pisces. But it could also be with the judgment energy. Some of you guys are feeling quite 
disempowered with that eight of swords energy some of you guys might be feeling really anxious maybe you feel that others are judging you with the judgment energy because judgment is also when other people are actually judging us and sometimes with the eight of swords energy we're in a place where we're actually feeling like you know what can i say what can i do because the eight of swords is also one of those cards that actually indicates the inability to truly express ourselves, the inability to truly say what we feel. So this is a card that actually at times indicates the powerlessness to speak. So some of you guys, it might be in your speech, it might be some of you guys, because it's swords, swords represent communication and also thoughts and ideas. It might be some of you guys are feeling powerless to really talk up and say exactly how you feel because there are certain judgments being levered against you. Also, judgment and the Ace of Swords can be a prison card as well. It can literally be being kind of imprisoned or being sent to prison but that's not the case here and I'm not reading along those lines I'm just saying what those combinations can actually mean as well but I do feel that some of you guys feel powerless to speak powerless to speak your truth if you look at all of these people here it's like a lot of people here are being called to um are saying stuff that that, that lots of judgments are being levelled against you and some of you guys are feeling powerless to speak here Pisces Alternatively, some of you guys feeling powerless, some of you guys are not seeing your calling because judgment is also the card about a call to action and it's, being, it's, it's a card that says I'm being called to rise up, I'm being called to take action and some of you guys are feeling a little bit stuck because you feel powerless, you don't feel strong enough to take action or maybe to, uh, to move towards your dreams or maybe to kind of move towards a route that takes you towards your life purpose. Some of you guys, it might be well I feel powerless to do that, i.e. Um, you know, I want to. I want to I, I run my own business. I feel that you know my my true calling is to do a particular job. But it might be well, it's money. How am I going to do that when I've got pay to pay? So I stay where I am with the Eight of Swords, that type of thing. What is your goal for the week, Pisces? Your goal is the Five of Cups. I feel that your goal, and as I always read the Five of Cups, on this card, is, what I love about this um, this deck that I'm using. Um, which is the Next World Tarot. I've, I've seen a lot of bad reviews actually on Amazon about this deck, but I actually really, really like it. I like the size of the cards and I actually like the fact that she puts the meaning, you know, a keyword on the card as well. Uh, so this is loss, but this is about facing loss. And I think that your goal this week is to face some form of a loss. And how I tend to, you know, explain the Five of Cups, especially when it shows up in an area that says it's the goal of the seeker. For me with the Five of Cups, it's the... You know, it's the goal to face the loss, to accept something that has been lost and then perhaps to move on from that because there are other things around you that you can move to. Now you can see on this particular five of cups, I'm just going to pick it up and take a look at it. I see cups, but they're behind you. Um, and I also see kind of, if you look here, it's almost like he's at a graveyard and he's laying down some form of a momentum on a grave here. It's almost like he's accepting something's gone. So I think that the goal for the week for some of you Pisces people is to accept that something has gone. Something has gone, it's moved, it's no longer there. And it's to kind of move on after that. What is the obstacle that you need to, uh, that you're facing this week though? Um, the Six of Wands energy here i think that some of you guys are still kind of it almost feels like you are because uh, the obstacle is victory all right and that's the six of wands energy it's jupiter in leo so it's an expanded sense of self it's an expanded sense of ego uh with jupiter being in leo here with the six of wands but that's the obstacle that you need to overcome i think that some of you guys it almost feels like you're too proud because the six of wands is all about being very proud it's all about being in a place of elevation. So it's almost like you're almost saying kind of like, well, why should I accept this? Why should I accept the loss of this situation? Why should I? It's almost like you're, you're not taking blame for a situation here. That's what I'm getting here. Because the Six of Wands person tends to think that they're in the right because they're, you know, they're elevated by others because they've got lots of support. I mean, it is one of those cards. You have lots of support. Lots of people have confidence in you. Lots of people are kind of bigging you up with the Six of Wands energy. And it might be that some of you guys, the obstacle that you need to overcome is your own pride with that Six of Wands energy. Because you need to, your goal is to accept a loss, accept something that is gone. But your goal, the obstacle that you need to overcome is your own pride, okay, in doing that, I think, with the Five of Cups energy. What could you be achieving by the end of the week? Well, the star, healing. Healing and recovery is the star energy, but also I'm not going to kind of jump because it feels like I'm jumping on the reading. It feels like I'm saying to you, well, you could be achieving the star healing. I don't think it's that. I mean, even though one of the very strong kind of um, um, uh, 
keywords with a star energy is all about healing it is also freedom okay so i think that we're going to talk about sort of healing stroke freedom with the cleansing is the star energy i think that if you can accept something is gone and i think if you can kind of overcome the obstacle of your own kind of ego maybe with that six of wands energy because remember we've got jupiter in ego an expanded sense of ego uh, your own sense of pride your own pride here with this uh, six of wands if you can kind of overcome that obstacle you could have some cleansing here because i think that the longer that you don't accept something is gone and the more that you don't accept it in the vein of why should i accept it because it almost feels like with the six of wands it's not just about your pride but it almost feels like you don't want to give up on something here it almost feels like there's something here that you really really that's why you're doing the six of wands in the obstacle position uh, your obstacle is yourself, I think, here, Pisces, in the Six of Wands, saying that you've got an expanded sense of self, an expanded sense of ego, and you're sort of saying, well, why should I accept that something's gone? But it almost feels like then if you can let it go, because the Five of Cups is all about letting go as well. So you need to, your goal is to let go of something, but your pride gets in the way. But if you can do that, then you could achieve, you know, a resolution through the star energy, but also the releasing of the energy of that five okay so the star represents cleansing and release so you could be achieving release and cleansing of whatever these energies are but you've got to let go of that pride and you've got to let go of the the idea that you don't attribute maybe any type of blame to yourself that type of thing um what is the thing that you need to avoid I think that you need to avoid with the Page of Cups energy, not kind of treating this thing seriously with the Page of Cups, kind of treating it in, because the Page of Cups is very, very playful energy. So the Page of Cups is young energy. It's a young child who, uh, you know, lives in the world of imagination. Everything is very light. Everything is very airy with that Page of Cups energy. And I almost get the feeling that this is a very kind of inclusive reading this week. It's all about your feelings and how you feel about a situation, okay? Um... I feel that you feel powerless in this Eight of Swords energy this week. Uh, it's about a judgment. So maybe you feel powerless to make a judgment here. So maybe this isn't about a judgment that's being levered against you. Maybe there is a powerlessness to release because judgment, the similarities between judgment and the star energy, it's all about the releasing of the old and moving into the new. So some of you guys, and if you think about it that way, for me, that makes more sense because if you feel powerless here with the Eight of Swords energy, your mind is telling you with the Eight of Swords energy, it's not my fault with the Six of Wands. <coughs> you know, your mind is kind of saying to you, I should carry on doing, you know, I don't, I, even though I want to let go of something here i'm not going to do it because i in a way the obstacle for you is that you still have faith in whatever that loss is so it's almost feeling like i'm not going to give up on this thing and that's what keeps you kind of where you are with that eight of swords energy and that's why you're powerless to make a judgment because a part of yourself with the five of cups wants to let go of this thing but then a part of you says with the six of wands well why should i do that it's not my fault why should i be the one to have to let go of this but i think that this week it's a case of having to let go of something because it's going to give you that peace of mind with the star energy it's going to allow you to let go and to release some pretty troublesome and probably quite kind of detrimental energies that you're holding on to and you need to avoid with the page of cups energy just kind of treating this thing as if it's not serious just making light of it i think with this page of cups energy what do you need to embrace the four of cups that you're not happy the four of cups that you're just not satisfied and that's the thing at the core of everything you're not satisfied with that four of cups energy uh, at the core of everything you're not getting what you want and i think that what's happening here is that you know in the area that we look at where we say the obstacle is that you need to overcome is the six of wands this isn't about a personal victory not really even though we've got victory on the card this is you guys being too proud because sometimes when we have to give something up, it almost feels like a personal failure. And I actually feel that in that card, the Six of Wands, where the word failure doesn't even come into a Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is, you know, I'm going to carry on because, you know, I really believe, I'm really confident that I can overcome this time of tribulation. But I think in looking at this reading, Pisces, it's all about saying, well, if I give up with the Five of Cups, because the Five of Cups is also giving up. So you, your goal is, I need to let go of something. But the obstacle you need to overcome is that you don't want to because you still got confidence in this thing it's almost like no why should i i still believe that this can happen but the universe is saying well if you let go of it you're going to feel by the end of the week so much better with that star because you're actually cleansing yourself of something i think that's been holding you back 
which is why the week is all about you guys with the Eight of Swords. Your mental, the way that you're thinking is holding you back, I think, from making a particular judgment, making a really firm, life-changing decision and making a final decision with that judgment energy. Don't make light of it. Avoid making light of it because what you need to embrace is that this is really damaging you with the Four of Cups. You're not happy with this thing and this is something you have to let go of. It's simply your pride and the fact that you feel that you can make a success of whatever this thing is that's keeping you where you are. But sometimes in life, we have to admit, Pisces, that the best thing to do is to walk away from something. Sometimes you've just got to walk away and there's no failure in that, okay? And there's no, it's no good kind of you guys thinking, well, if I walk away, I've failed because you haven't failed, you've won. Because at the end of the day, if you let go of whatever this thing is, it's going to benefit you in a better way. If you need advice and support, where can you go? Oh, wow, you've got the star that showed again. Go to someone who can guide you. Pray, go to God, the star, okay? Uh, you know, the star is also otherworldly energy. So go to the star, you know, go to God, go to a higher power, you know, pray with the star energy or go to someone who can shed a light on the situation for you. You know, go to someone who can give you the information that you seek, okay? Because it just feels that you're stuck so much in that six of wands energy. Like you feel holding on to this thing it's going to come good in the end with the Six of Wands. That's the obstacle that you need to overcome. It's your consistent, and that's why we've got the Jupiter in Leo. There's an expanded sense of ego in this for some of you guys. You are completely 100% kind of determined and sure that if you hold on, it's going to end up okay. But the universe is saying that you are kind of in a bit of a juxtaposition here because whilst the goal is to let go, uh, the obstacle is you don't want to do that with the Six of Wands. You're still trying. You're still holding on with that six of wands, hoping something's going to come good. If you let go of it, it will be to your benefit. It's going to help you release an awful amount of tension. Water on cards show emotions. And the fact that the woman on the star is letting go of the water on this version of the car tells me that you could be letting go of a whole heap of stored up emotion and, and uh, you know, emotion and kind of apprehension and lots of tension as well. Don't make light of it with the Page of Cups energy and embrace that you're not happy with the Four of Cups. Really embrace it because you're not. You're not happy and nothing can appease this energy. All right, so what are you holding on to? All you're holding on to is something that is going to consistently gnaw and gnaw and gnaw ahead at you. The more that you try and make a success of it and the more that it's not being a success, the more it's going to kind of gnaw at, you know, gnaw at you in the long run. So it's probably best to let go of something here that isn't going to serve your highest purpose. Go to the star go to the source, you know, go to the higher power, go to someone who can shed light on the situation, pray with the star energy and you'll find the answers. Uh, let's have a quick look at what the uh, advice is through the Art of Life Tarot. So Universe Spirit, what is the advice you have for Pisces on this reading? What is the advice you have for Pisces on this reading? Um, right, the High Priestess, wow, you got the High Priestess here. The advice is at the center of your being, you have the answer. You know who you are and you know what you want. And that's true. At the center of your being, Pisces. And actually, Pisces, that's you, isn't it? High Priestess is the major arcana card for Pisces. So at the center of the, your being, you know. The High Priestess is all-knowing. Your intuition is strongly telling you. That's why your goal is the Five of Cups, to let go, to put something to rest. That's why your goal is to do that. But it's your sheer pig-headedness with the Six of Wands that won't allow you to do it. But you will feel a lot better if you do it. You will feel a lot better if you let go of this thing. So tap into that intuition, okay? And acknowledge it because you know exactly what it is that you should be doing. Okay, bear with me, guys. We're going to get on with your, um, we're going to get on uh, with your work reading. Okay, so Pisces for work, what do we see? So Ace of Coins, there could be a really good opportunity coming in because the Ace of Coins, any Ace really indicates an opportunity coming to the Seeker. So there could be an opportunity coming in here uh, to earn money for work, Ace of Coins, a new job with the Ace of Coins energy showing up here. Um, let's have a look at the next one. 
uh, the Queen of Coins energy, and I think with the Queen of Coins energy, this is going to, sorry, not Queen of Coins, what I'm saying, the Empress energy. Um, I think there's an opportunity for you, an opportunity that's being presented to you with this Ace of Coins energy. And I think along with this opportunity comes with the Empress energy, a great um, potential to expand, to grow with this Empress energy showing here. It's an opportunity that's being presented for abundance, for growth, you know, more money perhaps with this Empress energy showing up here. Um, yeah, Eight of Coins energy. Um, the Eight of Coins is work, so we're already doing a work reading. So uh, for me, this is the Eight of Coins, an opportunity that's being presented here, a job. And I think along with this job comes the opportunity to expand and to grow with the Empress energy. This could also be an opportunity to work in something that is higher. For example, it could be that you get a promotion, for example, with the Empress energy. Uh, lots of hard work with the Eight of Coins energy showing up here. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, the Tower, though. So uh, the Eight of Coins and the Tower. Sometimes this is leaving a job, for example, uh, with the tower energy. The tower, when it comes to a career reading, this is kind of like sudden changes or suddenly leaving a job or, you know, maybe, you know, being told that you're being laid off or that type of thing. So there might be layoffs, I think, with this eight of coins and the tower in work. I'm looking at two different things, I think. There's an opportunity here for expansion. It's a job that comes along with maybe lots of responsibility with that Empress energy. Some of you guys getting promoted perhaps with the Empress energy, but also an opportunity that's being presented that's going to allow you to grow and to expand. I'm also seeing in work, because the Eight of Coins is really the work card, mundane work though, is the Eight of Coins energy showing here. Breaking free maybe with the eight, with the Tower energy from mundanity in work, Eight of Coins energy showing here. Uh, the lovers, so we've got the tower sitting between the eight of coins and the lovers. So the lovers in a work reading, it could be a choice that you make to break free from a particular job here. So it might be, for example, some of you guys are offered an opportunity to go up a notch, you know, to, um, you know, to, to go into a higher level, to go into a higher job, for example, to for a promotion. But it might be that some of you guys make a decision with the lover's energy to break away from the mundanity of having to kind of do a job that you find to be mundane, that you're just, it seems that you're doing something over and over again. There's no variety in the job, that type of thing showing up here also some of you guys breaking away from a group of people the lovers energy showing here you've got this particular version of the lovers pisces we see a woman here who's not getting any attention he's giving attention here so some of you guys it might be that you are making a decision this week to break away from a very mundane job it might be a job in which you don't think that you're getting recognition as well with that lovers because how i read the lovers card is i look at the picture what does the picture tell me to me it looks like somebody's not getting any recognition in work it looks like you're working really hard with the eight of coins energy but it might be with the tower energy that you want to leave this possibly with the lovers because you don't feel that you're actually getting any recognition it looks like it almost feels like some of you guys feel the recognition is going to other people and it's not going to you and it might be that you're facing an opportunity though that you can kind of expand and grow so you decide actually i'm going to leave the job that i'm doing now because i want to move on to other things where i am right now i'm not getting the recognition i deserve so i think i'll take this other opportunity that type of thing i think also within work uh the seeds that you plant now pisces whether it's you know your own project perhaps your own business i think that you're going to gain you know a lot of prosperity don't be surprised i mean this lovers card here as well this can be as i've mentioned somebody who chooses somebody over another and you see here as i mentioned the girl here is looking really pissed off because this person here is getting attention so it might be for some of you guys bad news i mean you've worked really hard and then suddenly with the tower you're kind of faced with this bad news that you know the job is being given to somebody else okay so i think that these are two different energies here um some of you guys being presented with a really golden opportunity here to expand to grow with the empress some of you guys running your own business the seeds that you plant right now are going to bring you wealth and they're going to bring you prosperity okay some of you guys are giving birth to new ideas okay that you're planting right now with that ace of coins energy and i see some of you guys working really hard on that 
but also some of you guys have been working really, really hard to, you know, uh, move up the ladder within work with the Eight of Coins energy. But it might be for some of you guys that especially if you're going for a particular role, it might be that it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to with that Tower and the Lover's energy. Because suddenly you've got this news that comes in with the Lover's energy that may be, uh, you know, because the Lover's means other people are involved in the situation. So you might be, you know, it might be suddenly you get the news that, yeah, somebody else has got the job, that type of thing. What are the next cards showing here? Uh, you know, for some of you guys with the Hangman, it's a waiting game with this hanged man and there's going to be a need for patience but also this is you know if this happens then really what it's saying to you Pisces is and this is you here Pisces the hanged man that this is giving birth with the hanged man energy to slow moving changes so even if you get news that you don't get a particular job and it's gone to someone else Pisces really it's just giving birth through the hanged man to you kind of slowly moving towards a change with that hanged man energy showing in there Okay, five of wands energy though. Five of wands talks about fears and anxieties, but also conflicts and challenges as well. I do feel that this is giving birth to something new for you guys. I think that the fact that you don't get something for some of you guys, really this is what it was destined to be. That it was destined that you weren't going to get something because it's giving birth to something new. It's giving birth to a transformation within you and within your own life. And some of you guys, it might be that you don't see that because there's a lot of anxiety and feeling quite frustrated with that five of wands around that energy there, Pisces, showing up here. But this will this will change with the sun energy, all right? This will change with the sun energy. You'll have that breakthrough with the sun energy. And I think also at some point after the frustration, Pisces, you're going to be able to see very, very clearly uh, with that sun energy showing there, okay? Uh, three of swords energy that you need to you'll see very clearly that with the three of swords energy this is time for you probably to expand your horizons probably to go and look elsewhere possibly to cast your net wider because the three of swords deals with the ideas of separation and movement and change as well through that three of swords energy showing there um yeah and there you go the eight of cups you'll see very clearly that it's now time to separate yourself with the three of swords energy and look you know for something else and uh, you know when this if this happens for some of you guys especially with the eight of coins the tower and the lovers this is happening for a reason because you've actually got three you've got two major cards showing here the tower and the re and the lovers energy so if you know you're getting bad news with that tower energy that a job has gone to someone else it's happening for a reason because what's happening here is the reason with that hangman is that you it's happening because you are going through a time of transformation and rebirth with the hangman energy and at the time Pisces you won't know it because you've got the five of wands so it was kind of says that you don't see this that this has happened for the best but in time I think that you will see it with that sun energy you're going to see very clearly that this is now going to allow you to with the three of swords energy cut your losses you know separate from the pact and move in a new direction some of you guys it's happening because the universe is trying to force you to follow your own life purpose some of you guys have a life purpose here but you seem to be consistently doing the same thing and that can be through the eight of coins energy as well where with the eight of coins pisces we're consistently doing the same thing over and over and over again and not really coming up with any results things stay the same you know we can consistently do things with the eight of coins and things are consistently staying the same with the hanged man as well and this is what's bringing in the frustration you know and i think that some of you guys it's going to come to a point where you know you work you've worked so so hard you've worked yourself to death because some of you guys are looking for that empress moment you know, the moment where you're kind of elevated and moved up a notch within the work that you do but when it doesn't happen with the tower and suddenly the job job that you go for goes to another individual within the lover's energy and suddenly when you guys realize actually nobody's recognizing all the work that i put in and yet they go and give you know i've gone for the interview with the tower energy and suddenly i've got this you know this news this surprising news i put all this work in i've got this surprising news suddenly that they they're not going to give me the job they're going to give somebody else the job but it's allowing you the reason that this is happening as i've mentioned pisces is is that it's happening because this is a time of transformation slow moving transformation for you and whilst this might be very frustrating frustrating sorry at some point 
the hard work, number one, the hard work that you put in with the Eight of Coins is actually going to pay off with that Sun energy. But also, the frustration that you might feel at kind of not being picked for a job, that type of thing, well, you're going to realise with the Sun energy that it was for a reason. And that reason was to help you kind of expand your horizons with that Three of Swords energy. Move out of the mundane with the Three of Swords and that Eight of Coins energy. Separate yourself from doing the same thing over and over again because it's a time for change with the Eight of Coins. So this is definitely for you Pisces people, a time for change. And even though it might not look like it at the moment, it might look like you put so much effort in with the eight of coins. You know, you, you go, you, you know, you work really hard, you study for the interview, you do everything by the book. It looks to me like it's um either that you're going for the same roles over and over again, you're not getting them, or you're working within a company and you're going for all of these promotions and you're never getting it. But it's trying to, the universe is trying to say, you're not getting it because you're either meant to be somewhere else or you're meant to follow your own path. Let's have a quick look at what we can see for uh, the career section. For some of you guys, again, there are opportunities coming in. Golden opportunities are coming to you. And these opportunities are going to uh, allow you to expand and to grow. And they're opportunities in which you can, you know, this might be involved with a promotion with the Empress Energy showing up there. Uh, what's the advice that you've got for Pisces in terms of work, Universe? What's the advice that you have for Pisces in terms of work in three cards? The advice, Pisces, is, you know, forgiveness is showing up here. Uh, the fall, okay. I think that you need to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you've made with that fall energy, okay. The fall in the scandal card showing up here. So it just feels with the fall in scandal, you've made some really big mistakes, some really silly mistakes. And these mistakes that you've made with the fall could cause some form of... But you need to forgive yourself for that because the scandal, when, when there's a scandal, there's a real hoo-ha around something. But it feels like there's a mistake you've made here that's caused some form of a hoo-ha, some, some form of chaos, some form of a scandal. It's being talked about in terms of your job. But you really need to forgive yourself for that because it, the way that I see it is something that happened in some of your careers, it was a simple mistake, okay? It's, it's other people's problems if they want to cause a problem around that. But you really need to forgive yourself for it and move on. Okay, let's have a quick look at what the uh, what the wealth reading is saying, actually. I always forget to do wealth. Um, so I'm going to put wealth here and let's have a look at what's happened with your money uh, this week, guys. So Universe Spirit, can you show me money? What do you see happening for money with the wealth card for uh, Pisces? What do you see happening this week in terms of uh, money in three cards for Pisces? What do you see happening in terms of money? So for money, Pisces, yeah, you've got the good fortune card. Nice, okay, in the home. So you definitely... Some of you guys are securing some good fortune as well. It could be a loan, something like that. But definitely uh, good fortune within the home showing up here. And it could be coming from a fair grey-haired man. Okay, brilliant. All right, bear with me and I'm going to come back and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do your love reading. Okay, Pisces, so we've got the love cards down. Let's have a look at what's going on for love uh, for you guys uh, showing here. Okay, so for love, Pisces, what we have is uh, strength. So for me, strength in a love reading, this is very much soulmate energy, but it's also when, if you get strength in a love, for me, this is a really strong partnership. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, strength and the King of Wands. I actually feel that some of you guys have found your soulmate in an individual here. All right, because for me, the soulmate card is the strength card. It means two people that come together. They're very, very different, but they seem to compromise. Some of you guys might be compromising with the King of Wands, but I think that you've found a really faithful lover as well with that strength and the King of Wands energy showing here. Uh, the Knight of Cups, though. So the Knight of Cups, and that's you, Pisces. You're following your heart with the Knight of Cups energy. Um, Queen of Coins. I actually feel that you guys are looking towards somebody else. I think you've got probably a really strong relationship with someone here. I think, and I don't think that this person's overly controlling. It could be though, because strength can be overly, it can be a very, a very controlling card. 
So we could read this in, a, in a, an amalgamation of ways. Some of you guys, it might be that you've got some a really strong relationship going on with this King of Wands, but your heart is more drawn to this individual here, this Queen of Coins. Now, male or female, it doesn't matter because if, it's, if you're heterosexual female, then the Queen of Coins really kind of indicates somebody with some very kind of feminine earth energy about them. If you're male, then it's a woman, you know, and you're heterosexual. If you're gay or, or lesbian, gay, again, it's a male with, um, you know, very kind of feminine, earthly energies, nurturing, supportive, all the rest of it. And if you're, you know, if you're lesbian, female, then that's a that's another woman there, okay? So I uh, just get the impression that either some of you guys are feeling, because you've got a really strong character here as well, strength of the King of Wands, they're both, and they're both Leo energies as well, okay? So it might be that you've got a very kind of strong, overbearing partner for some of you guys. I think this is the partner here. Or some of you guys have got a really strong relationship going on with this individual. I think that if this person's overbearing, because the energy is kind of predominantly Leo with both cards. So I think if this person is like overly kind of uh, dominant, for example, because the King of Wands is very dominant and so is strength. So if you're dealing with a really kind of dominant force of an individual showing here, a really strong individual here, somebody who's overly controlling, extraordinarily dominant in the relationship. Some of you guys, it might be your heart says to yourself, you know what, what I'm really looking for here is a queen of coins. I'm looking for somebody who's probably a little bit more, more nurturing, a little bit more caring, a little bit more down to earth. Um, let's have a look here. We've got the Seven of Swords showing up though. So the Seven of Swords is uh, a deceptive card with a queen and the Seven of Swords or a queen and the Three of Swords, it shows cheating actually. And there you are. I'm wondering if you've got someone here at home, but some of you guys, it feels like you Pisces are looking maybe to go outside of the relationship to me. That, that's what I feel that I'm looking at here. I, I actually feel that you're looking to go outside of a relationship because of the energies. I don't even think that this is a strong relationship. I think this is actually talking about the person. I think the person that you're with, it could be that they're overly controlling. And it feels to me that you are a little bit tired of this Pisces because you're the Knight of Cups and you're going towards that Queen. It almost feels like the Queen is presenting something to you and you've got the cup here and you're ready to take it. There seems to be an interaction between the coin of the queen so this doesn't have to even be an earth sign it doesn't have to it just feels like somebody is presenting an opportunity to you and you're ready to take it all right uh, but it doesn't feel like it's right because you've got the seven of swords which is indicating there's probably some cheating going on around this i think that you're ready to take an opportunity from someone but i think that you're doing it under the covers i think that you're being very 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 under you know un underhanded about this to be perfectly honest with you because i think you've already got somebody there with that strength in the king of wands um the justice card can be doing the right thing so justice is doing the right thing or it's a legal thing showing up here um you've definitely got something to do with a legal situation here i think because you've got justice and the ace of swords sometimes this can kind of be kind of legal documents that type of thing with justice and the ace of swords energy um the sun energy here so the sun energy quite an interesting reading so far the sun energy is all about um things coming to light things being in light there's enlightenment there's things that are becoming clearer with the sun energy if you look at these people they're looking into the sun these two people are uh, but almost it almost feels like looking for something better here with the sun energy uh the justice and the ace of swords almost feels like it could be divorce or something but then if it was divorce why would you be doing something under uh, you know, under the cup, not unless it, this is it, because I'm reading you as the Knight of Cups because you're Pisces, but I'm wondering if um, this isn't you, I'm wondering if this person's done this to you, I'm just wondering, um, because it could be that you have a very dominant uh, fire energy around you here, but this person may be going out, this person might be accepting a, an opportunity with another person underneath the covers, it might be that this is leading to some form of legal action or something like that with the justice energy. It might be that you're very clear the only thing that you can do is divorce, probably, with that justice and the ace of swords showing up there. Uh, yeah, and walk away with the ace of cups. Very clear that you need to walk away here with the eight of cups energy uh, showing up here. Uh, the empress energy here. So uh, this is the marriage card, walking away from the marriage, I would say, with the empress. It almost feels like somebody's very clear that they need to walk away. It feels like you're married. It feels like I'm doing this for people who are married or because we've got the legal thing here. So it's probably not going to uh, relate to many of you Pisces, okay? But it does feel like some of you guys are married. It's a tricky one because you are the Knight of Cups. You're a, you're a Pisces. But then, you know, I don't have to read this as a Pisces. I, I'm thinking two things here, okay? Um, 
the king of wands is intuitive as well so this person's intuition might be quite strong as well all right so it might be what's happening here if this is you that's doing the cheating pisces okay it might be that you've got a partner around you now king of wands as i said the wands people are extraordinarily intuitive so it might be this king of wands intuition is really strong that you pisces are cheating because what you're doing there's an interaction somebody's offering you the pentacle and you're taking it with the cup okay and it involves cheating with the seven of swords and it might be this person's intuition is very strong that pisces is cheating in these energies here and therefore they see very clearly that they've got no choice but to kind of put into action, take direct action as the King of Wands energy in terms of bringing forth some legal action here. And what's very clear is that you need to walk away from the marriage. Marriage card is the Empress as well. So some of you guys need to leave the home. You need to walk away from the marriage. So that could be this person. It could be that it's this person that says, I, King of Wands, and highly, I have this really, really strong intuition with the strength energy that Pisces, the Knight of Cups, is cheating because you're accepting what is on offer. The cup is held out to that pentacle. Whoever's putting this in your way, you're accepting it and there's cheating involved. So that could be your partner. If the, this resonates with you, Pisces, I feel the partner has a very strong intuition that you're cheating if you are, all right? And it might be that they are very, very, um, uh, they have no choice now. They're very strong in terms of taking direct action, King of Wands energy, legal proceedings, justice and the Ace of Swords. And they're very clear that they need to do that. And they're very clear that, you know, number one, I need to take direct action in terms of divorce proceedings, putting these into action now. But also I'm very clear that maybe I need to leave the home i need to leave the marriage if this is you kind of uh being the king of wands yourself and saying it could work the other way saying that your intuition is really strong maybe the partner so it could be read the other way that the partner with the king of wands and the strength energy showing here maybe that you're dealing with a very dominant partner maybe they're going outside of the marriage for example going outside of the marriage with that empress energy they're you know they're um, accepting an offer from another queen another individual and they're doing it behind your back seven of swords so they're cheating and it might be that your intuition is saying to you uh pisces you know what uh, I'm going to have to kind of, it's very clear now that I need to introduce some legal proceedings here with the Justice and the Ace of Swords energy. And what's very apparent to me now is that I need to, with the Eight of Cups energy, walk away from the marriage. I think that this might be some of you guys walking away from a marriage. Because I'm seeing the Seven of Swords in the reading, and Seven of Swords in a love reading is often the card that indicates, um, indicates uh, uh, cheating. Um, nonetheless, somebody's avoiding settling down with that Queen of Coins energy showing here, okay? But I can see, an in I don't think that is it, because I can see an interaction here. She's got the coin out, and he's got the cup, all right? So there's an interaction. She's offering something, and he's taking it, and it's being done underneath the covers. It's being done in secret with the Seven of Swords. Somebody's messing about. Somebody's cheating. I don't know whether it's you, because you are the Knight of Cups, all right? Or whether this is just a play on words, and that it's this person that's cheating, and you so it's either one of you it's either you know that a partner is cheating and you're going to take legal action and you're going to leave the marriage or the partner knows that you are cheating and they've decided they're going to take legal action and it's very clear that they need to walk away from the marriage okay let's have a quick look at what the advice is for wealth for for love sorry for pisces on this reading um right so uh universe spirit what is the advice you have for love for pisces what is the advice that you have for love uh, for Pisces, show me. Uh, the advice is uh, diligence, patience, okay, will bring abundance um, and the truth, an abundance of truth. So it almost feels like you need to, if you're the one that's making a choice to walk away from the marriage, because I think it's a marriage that I'm looking at here, if you're making a choice, Pisces, to walk away from a marriage because you've got this really strong intuition that that partner's cheated, and I think that it's possible that the partner's cheated before and you say, right now, for this is it. I'm going to start putting legal, you know, a legal situation. You know, I'm going to start divorce proceedings. I'm seeing with these two cards. It's very clear that I need to walk away from the marriage. I think the universe is saying to you for love, you need to kind of just wait a moment. OK, with the, you know, exert a, a time of due diligence here. OK, because you might receive a lot of truth, the truth in abundance. It might be that this person comes and tells you what's going on, what's really been going on with them. It might not 
not even necessarily be that they've been cheated, but even if they've been cheated, they might tell you the reasons why. You might get the truth out of that. And, you know, vice versa, if the, it's the person that sees you as the cheat, for example, it might be that they need to air a, you know, um, a, a time of due diligence, wait, in other words, before they actually start legal proceedings, because it, it might mean in time that they get a lot of truth coming out, a lot of truth coming out. All right, that is your reading, Pisces. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you'd like your own personal reading, click on the comment section. The link is there to the website and also in the end screen. And also remember, you can get your year aheads now as well. So the 2020 year aheads are out. They've been doing really well, flying off the shelves. So if you'd like your own personal 2020 year ahead, please, uh, please just click on the link and go through to my website. All right, take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.